Yo, what's up? What's up, man? I'm so hyped for this game, man. This, I'm so hyped. I I played the closed beta uh, on New World. I played the closed beta on consoles. I think it was uh, I think a couple weeks ago. I played the closed beta. I didn't play the open beta because I already got to like level thirty in closed. I was kind of, kind of pissed because I got to level thirty on closed beta, and then like towards the end of the closed beta, they made it where you could have the highest level. You could have the best gear. Like the last day, and I'm like, what the heck? I just grinded for no reason. And then the open beta came out, and they made it. If you got to level 30, they gave you like free stuff. And I was like, dude, I'm not gonna even waste my time. But um, I don't want to get burned out in a beta. But I'm so hyped to play this game, bro. Like Throne of Liberty was a flop. Throne of Liberty was a total flop. Um, New World, I know it has bad reviews. I know um. They kind of like screwed over the players over the three years of games, but now they haven't really been updating it. But I feel like this is the last hope for New World, and this is the last hope for me in playing MMO games. <laughs> this is the last hope, bro. If this game flops too, like what what do we have to look forward in an MMO game? We don't have nothing. We don't have nothing no more. So I don't think there's any games coming out within the next year, even next year in the MMO genre, that's going to be PvP mostly, basically, uh, base of a game. So... Uh, we do have Path of Exile 2 coming out next month. That's going to be a really fun game. I'm going to play the game a lot. But uh, New World's the last hope. Uh, it's going to be, since it's a fresh start server, it's not there's going to be bots. Bots are always going to be there. But um, it's not going to be pay to win. Like, it's not going to be where I can swipe my credit card day one and I'm the best in the server. Like, Throne of Liberty. Like, soulless Throne of Liberty. So, I'm so I'm not, I just bought the game right now on PC. I was debating if I should get it on console or PC. Um, I ended up getting on PC because the graphics, I mean, it just runs better on the PC. I got a 4090, so it's going to be looking sharp. Uh, when I played it on P on the consoles, that's like the only cons I had in the game when I played the beta was it didn't look as sharp on the next gen. I was playing on my PS5 and my Xbox. It did. And the Xbox looked a little bit better than PS5, but um, yeah, that's one thing. I, I think I was probably getting like 1080 maybe 30 to 60 f or 60 fps i would say and that's that's awful when i could play on my pc and get 4k 144 fps so it was just no brainer to go for pc also um if the game does die out or you know the server is like kind of you know the game the pop of the game population dies maybe the game flops or the developers build the game out again um or just stop developing the game again at least the pc console servers will have a little bit more um, more people on it compared to the console only servers. Those servers are going to die off within the next year. I played uh, MMO console games, ESO. Uh, those servers are dead on the console. P PC is where it's at. Now, of course, you, you could still see people there. I'm not saying it's dead, like, no one's there. But if you want to, like on ESO, if you want to play Battlegrounds at nighttime, dude, it takes up to like 20, 30 minutes to find a match. And then you're matched up with nothing but sweats because the last people, the last people who play the on those servers are usually sweats and so yeah i'm going pc all day um and yeah man i'm just i'm just so excited for this game i'm going to this game with no knowledge of the game i don't know anything about new world uh i'm not watching a whole bunch of new world videos and guides and what's the best class like i feel like the best mmo games you play are when you don't know anything any knowledge now if i'm stuck on a quest for like 30 minutes and I'm going to look up a guide, <laughs> you know, but for the most part, I'm going to just play this game how I like. I like for MMO games, and that's a mistake I made on Throne of Liberty. I just went with the meta because the best meta on Throne of Liberty was a sword and shield and god sword. For me on New World, I, the, when I like to play those type of games, I like picking a bow. And I wish I would have picked a bow on Throne of Liberty. The game would have sucked anyways, but I'm definitely going a bow on Throne of Liberty and maybe a sword and shield or I'm not sure what the next... I don't want to do bow one because I want to I want to be I want to have some melee in it so like a sword so I'm gonna do more a little bit more research um, but for sure I'm going to bow for sure when I was, I was using a bow in a closed beta had a lot of fun using that so I'm gonna use that um, yeah I'm I'm hyped you guys let me know if y'all getting this game the game comes out tomorrow literally in like 20 hours uh, now I don't feel this amped up for this game to release out. Compared to when Throne of Liberty came out, Throne of Liberty, I just thought this game that game was gonna be like 
the game I'll be playing for the next five, ten years. And it's crazy. I didn't even make it past a week, guys. I was I was hyping up that game so much, bro. I didn't get to play the beta on the game when it came out. I didn't even know that game existed when the beta came out. It wasn't until a couple weeks later, and I was like, oh, I missed on the beta. I didn't even know there was a beta. Excuse me, but um, yeah, man, I'm looking at here. Let me show y'all. Uh, let me show y'all the the updates on it, and you know, I I hope I have no regrets picking um. Uh, picking PC over a console. I don't think I will. You know, I just the MMOs. If you could sit down on, on a couch and chill, and play, then that's that's dope. Like I like that a lot. But you know, it's all good, I guess. I like to use I most I like to use controller. I really love to use controller, but when I was when I was uh, loading in on New World, just making sure everything ran smooth, I just did. I just played for like five minutes just now. Um, it looked like it was easy to use on the keyboard. It wasn't like throwing the soulless throwing a liberty where the it's just so awkward to move and the controls and the camera angle. It was complete trash on New World. It was like I could definitely use a keyboard and mouse for New World, uh, but we'll see how the game goes. But as you can see, I'm on the West Coast, LA, uh, Bay Area. So um, I, I don't like how the preload is literally going to be three hours before the game comes or four hours before the game comes out. Like it should have been the next day. Consoles got it two days before. Um, so uh, yeah, man, PC players. So you see how they're updating the game. These are things that I want to see. Um, you know, improved matchmaking, new PvP zone. Like I said, I'm only playing this game for PvP, man. Um, and I could, when I was playing the game for the beta, I didn't do any PVP at all, but I could just tell the combat in the game is so much better than ESO. It is a, way better than Throne of Liberty, way better. So I just like how, um, the, the game feels, you know, and you know, this game peaked out at 1 million players when it came out. I feel like that they stay consistent to this game and, you know, really invest. Amazon has the money to do it. I, I definitely believe that they could, um, this game could be a uh, next big thing. So, uh, really looking forward to this game. ESO, I probably put in like 700 hours in that game the past three years. I'm pretty much done with ESO, man. I'm pretty much done with that game. I've been done with the game for like a year now. Uh, but yeah, new world, man coming to consoles. I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited for a new MMO, man. Cause MMO guys, like I said, this one flops. What, what do we have next to look for the next year? What MMO game do we have to look forward? Um, you know, so I heard Lineage 2 or someone someone left a comment on the last video. I, I never heard of that game, but I have to look it up. If that's coming out, then I'll look it up. But I'm excited for this. Are you guys getting it? Let me know. Uh, I'm going, once I get to this game, guys, I'm rushing level 65. Or is it level 60 max level? I'm getting max level. Hitting the PvP, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. I won't know what I'm doing, but man, I'm going to be having so much fun this game. And let me know if you all want me to stream it too. I know the beginning levels of a game is kind of boring to watch, you know, and that's what with Throne of Liberty. I, I wanted to wait before I got max level to stream. And then once I got max level, the game sucked. The PvP was just garbage. Now, now for New World, I, the PvP is going to be fun. So once uh, I get level max level, probably within a week after the game. Uh, yeah, so probably next weekend. Um. Y'all see me streaming this PvP, man. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. Hope to see y'all there. I'm out. Peace.